Hey everybody, this is Ben with devslopes.com, and in this video, we are going to get Drenches of War all set up with the Mapbox SDK. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we have the SDK downloaded and that we have an account with Mapbox. Now, if you don't already, then you can just click this Get Started for Free button down here, and that's on their website of mapbox.com. And you can sign up here, but I've already got an account, so I'm going to just log in with that. And now that we've got an account, let's go ahead and click on this integrate map box button. And then we're going to click on unity. And we'll just download this map box package. Let's save the file. While that's downloading, you could continue on and check out information about permissions and opening an example. But we're going to go back to mapbox.com and go to our account. And we're going to create a new access token. Access tokens are your public API keys which will be used for accessing your project info, analytics, or statistics rather. All of that good stuff. So we want to make sure that we've got a unique token set up for our project, just so the statistics run correctly and we know we've got the information just for this one. So let's click Create a Token. And we're going to call this token Drenches of War. For now, we're just going to leave it at the default public scopes. Create token. Cool. We now have our Drenches of War token. Perfect. So we're going to leave this up for just a second. And now that that has downloaded, let's open up Unity and create a new project. I'm going to call this Drenches of War. And then we're just going to say Create Project. And first, I'm going to set up a couple of things. I'm going to go ahead and click Collaborate just so I've got some quick, easy version controlling. And then we're going to go change the build settings because now is an opportune time to do that. And I'm going to set mine to iOS. So switch platform. Now you can choose either iOS or Android, but you are going to need a mobile device for AR to work. And if if you go to build this project and you find that you're having some problems with AR, just remember that there are a limited number of devices at this point in time that can run AR, especially on Android. So double check to make sure that your device is compatible for augmented reality. So let's close that. And now we need to go ahead and install the Mapbox SDK. To do that, we just go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. And I'm going to go to my downloads where this thing's at. And I'm just going to double click the Mapbox Unity SDK version 1.4.1. And I'm going to import everything that comes in the package just to make sure that all dependencies are satisfied and I don't miss anything. Now that we've got that imported, I'm going to make just a little change. I'm going to create a folder down here in the project window. And I'm going to name it Mapbox SDK. You don't have to do this. This is just. So let's move all of the Mapbox stuff into the Mapbox SDK folder. Now that those are moved, there's the simple question of how do we use it? Well, that part's pretty easy. There are a few ways that we could go about this. We've got a scene already, the untitled that Unity opens up as standard when you create a new project, and we could drag and drop the proper stuff from the Mapbox SDK from their Mapbox AR prefabs. We could grab this AR tabletop kit, drag it on, and go about it that way. Or we could go up to the Mapbox window up here and grab a starter project from it. But the easiest way is to just drag this up. So let's add that prefab. And we're going to take off the main camera since the AR tabletop kit is going to have one that comes with it. And we do need to go up to Mapbox and go to setup and we're going to go back to our browser to this account dashboard and just grab this token that we created just a minute ago and we're going to paste it in here and it's going to verify and there we go we've got a valid token now just to kind of give you a tour of what we've got going on the ar tabletop kit has a few things going for it that are really going to help us out with our augmented reality experience the first object within it is this AR root. 
And this is essentially going to be our camera. This is where everything's really going to be taking place. This is the magical object that makes AR work. And as you can see, it's got a camera already attached to it, which is set up to work with the player's phone. We've got a map holder, and this is a placeholder for the map on AR planes. And the map root is going to be the map box map. This is the object that's going to populate and build our cities out for us. And then we've got the focus square, and this is just used for finding a good spot to place the AR object. It's just a couple of squares that work together to help the player visualize what they should be doing while they're looking for a space to play. As great as all of this is, and as easy it is to implement, there are a few things missing that we have to go manually set for the AR tabletop kit to work. But that's just because Mapbox can't do that for us. So let's click on the AR tabletop kit object just to give us an inspector window. And I'm going to go to the layer manager. And we need to add four layers for this to work. The first layer is the AR game object. The next is going to be the map layer. We're also going to need a path layer and a layer called both. And there we go. We've now completed the super complicated process of getting up and running with Mapbox's AR tabletop kit. Now, we're not going to be able to see much inside of this inspector, but if we press play, you can see that the city is being populated, that that map is loading, everything's cool. Um, the only reason we can't manipulate this too much is because it is an AR game and that doesn't really work inside of the Unity preview. We'll have to hook up a physical device to look at it and run it properly. So let's stop running. Zoom out a little bit. Go back to where we were. And that's it. We've set up Mapbox with everything that we're going to need to get started with Drenches of War. The last thing we're going to want to do is save our project. So you'll notice, just FYI, when we ran the project, it generated this resources folder. We're just going to leave that there because it's going to auto populate every time the game runs if it doesn't exist. We are, however, going to create a new folder and name it scenes. And we're going to take the current scene. And we're going to save the scene as go into our scenes folder. And I'm just going to call this main game since this is where everything is going to take place. Now that our scene is saved, let's go up to collab and let's save this and say initialize initialized project, added map box, publish now. Perfect. We're up to date and ready to go. With that, we're going to go ahead and call this video good. So great job following along. In this video, we set up our project to get us started on Drenches of War. We installed the map box Unity SDK, made sure that we had a map box account, set up our key, and created our first scene with the AR tabletop kit so we can start moving forward. This is Ben with devslopes.com, and we'll see you next time.